Before setting up the water pump, it is advisable to have a look at all the material which is provided. Solar panels are needed, the pump itself, cables and pipes, and two different types of hoses, a suction hose as well as a pressure hose. When opening the box, you will find the pump inside. The pump itself is normally ready for installation. We always advise people to test it first in a bucket of water, to make sure everything runs smoothly. First of all, we have to connect the suction hose. The suction hose has a connection with a screw thread for an airtight connection. And on the other side of the suction hose, we have the non-return or check valve with a little filter on it. We have to fill the pump up with water before we can connect the hoses. This is called priming. It is advisable to put some water in the suction port as well as the pressure port. We normally also fill the suction hose itself with water to make sure that the pump can start operating without any delays. Screwing on the suction hose can be a little bit tricky sometimes, because we have to put on the hose at the right angle and then completely tighten it. Otherwise, if it is still loose, the pump might suck air into its system, which will lower the efficiency of the pump system. When the suction hose is connected, we can also connect the pressure hose. As you can see, there are two different connections. One of them is a quick coupler, which is on the pressure side, and the other one is a screw type coupler. After connecting the pump, we can also connect the cables to the pump. The pump will start up immediately after pressing shortly the mode button or automatically after 15 seconds if there is enough sunshine. 